All right, we got Poncho, and what we've been riding him in here is just a small dog bone snaffle. Um, that's working pretty good. Uh, we still use a little training aid like a training fork or some draw reins. One of Poncho's habits was he slings his head up a lot, noses out. Um, we've got it pretty much rendered, but uh, sometimes we still need a little aid. So we're going to put this training fork on. It just snaps to the girth and then the reins run through the loops. So that way then the pressure's coming from down here by the loops instead of up here by our hands. It's a little easier for him to understand. We'll snap it on the girth, bring it right up here through the legs, and then I'm just going to run the reins through it. What this will do is give an easier message for him to understand. We do it a lot warming up. We won't shoot with these on. Um, and we don't do a lot of upper level maneuvers with it on because you do lose some lateral flexion with the training forks. But we'll put them on for warming up and that'll help. Now the pressure's coming from down here instead of from up here and it's easier for him to understand. All right. All right, we got our training fork on and our long reins on. It's now Poncho. The, like I said, the biggest thing is he, he likes to carry his head high or he used to. And when you made bit contact, he would bring his head up. So what we've done is we've taught him to collect his face and stay nice and soft in the reins and come into the training fork, bringing his face into his chest. So now we got his head flexing to the left and we can move to the right, which is gonna give us our perfect turn where we want him and hit precise movements. Yeah, same thing, we go to the right, we flex his head to the right. We're gonna do all this as we warm up, make sure his head will look to the right and he'll still move to the left, okay? And all of it's getting done with really light contact should be able to move down. Anytime you flex his head, either way, his head should stay down like that and like that, okay? It's just very light and he stays soft in the bridle, moving left and right. I'm using right rein and right leg. I put my right leg on, he's moving to the left. I take it off, he starts coming to the right. Same thing here, I use my left hand and my left leg, move his shoulders over. Everything we do with him, so we got to really work on this and stay with it is that he's turning off his haunches. So every time he turns, his front end should cross over and his back end stay in place. Just like that, okay? His front end shouldn't plant in the ground and his butt walk around. Make sure his front end is walking around his rear end. There he kind of walks forward, hold him back. There he goes and he backs up a little bit. If you're trotting, same thing. I want to make sure he's looking to the right and moving to the left. We got control of his shoulders, his ribs, and his haunches. If I turn, the rear end stays in the ground, the front end crosses over. There we're going to the left now, same thing. I'm gonna get him looking in. You can visualize something being here. You wanna turn around it, watch his butt. See how his butt stayed in the dirt and his shoulders came around. That's what you're looking for. You wanna keep him soft. When I stop, I take all my legs off and I sit back. Very little bit pressure. He understands your body language. All right, we're gonna go into the canter. Right. When we get ready for the canter, it's the same thing as we were at the trot. Make sure he's set up right, he's looking to the left, but he's moving to the right, then apply your right leg and ask for the canter. Get that left lead. He had a little roll in his back right there. It's his first time cantering off today. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to set him up. And he pick up his left lead off the right leg. He got a little roll in his back yet this morning, but that's something that he does a little bit when you first start off. It goes away as you rise. I'm gonna move him over to the right a little bit. Just making sure he's looking inside. Anytime you want to turn at the canter, you take your leg off and shift. And then he turns on his rear end. Now we're gonna go to the right. Same thing. We'll make sure he's set up, looking to the right, moving left. Add the left leg. As we're warming up, we got to make sure that he's shaped around our inside leg. We keep a little inside leg on him to make sure he's looking to the inside. Then if we want to turn to the right, take your leg off, cross your hands over. All 
All right, some of the other big things we're working on after we get her warmed up and got him flecking his face and moving his stuff is going to be our barrel turns um, and our gate and stuff, our big turns. Um, our barrel turn is going to be important when you practice at home too. That when you're entering a barrel, this is going to be our pocket. And he's looking, see how he's looking at the barrel. I'm using inside leg and I'm moving up deep behind the barrel. And then when I finish, I take my leg off. And see how he crossed over, planted his butt, and then he hits straight down the rundown. I'm going to do the same thing to the right. I'm going to make sure that he's looking to the right. So I got my right leg on him, and then you can just neck rate him as long as you got that right rein on him and have him looking at that barrel. And now you got your pocket. Now you slide up here, get your step, take your leg off, and he'll finish that barrel nice and straight and get your finish on that barrel. All right, we're going to do a couple lope turns on the barrel. Again, we got him looking at it, looking at it, get your dip, and then drop and finish your barrel. He planted his butt nice and finished the barrel. We're going to come back around and do the left turn. All right, so we got him looking, got to move him over a little bit, get our dip, and then finish. And you got a great barrel turn.